Um, I was just visiting the Stanley Hotel because I've always heard about The Shining. And the best of all, it was only an hour outside of Denver. So I was visiting Denver for my birthday and I figured, you know what? What an awesome way to, um, to explore the city and explore the surroundings uh, and to go to the Stanley Hotel where The Shining uh, was inspired. So it's the first night um, we had uh, dinner. Um, and uh, I was just wandering around, just taking photos. I was just doing what I normally do. I love to travel and I like to take photos. And um, so I was just taking photos and next thing you know, at night I felt really sick. I had no idea what was going on because I rarely get sick. Um, so I had no idea what was happening. Uh, then the next morning, you know, as I was getting better, I was started checking my photos from the previous night and I saw this figure. And, um, I was, you know, I was, I was asking my friends, is this a ghost? <laughs> um, and, you know, I, they're like, hey, doesn't, you know, there was nobody there. Um, so that's what we assumed. And little did I know that this was going to get uh, viral. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it really went overnight. Um, it exploded uh, not only here in the States, but around the world. Um, it has been <laughs> super crazy, um, but I've also loved that, you know, people are so interested in the Stanley Hotel. Um, I think uh, it is such a neat place to go visit. It, it has it's such it offers such a historical context, whether you believe in ghosts or not. Um, I, I, I love people to, you know, be interested about the Stanley Hotel and, and I'm so happy that this is happening for them. I'm terrified of ghosts. I've always been um, superstitious and uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a risk taker. You know, I shouldn't have gone to places, um, but um, I, oh, absolutely. This has um, completely solidified my uh, my beliefs about um, ghosts <laughs> for sure. You know, when I was taking this photo and, and like I told everyone, you know, when I was taking this photo, I normally when I take shots, I don't like strangers in my photos. So I wait until the whole area is clear. So when I took this photo, there was nobody there. Um, and, you know, I didn't feel anything abnormal. It wasn't until the next morning that I, I noticed that this figure was in the photo. Not necessarily anything strange, but I've been getting a lot of people's stories. Um, I love to hear uh, people's stories, whether or not it was at the Stanley, people share their ghost stories with me. And this, that is pretty awesome. Uh, I, I think there's there's so many stories to tell. And, you know, and also, I, I mean, I've gotten a lot of people who are skeptics. You know, they say, well, this is not real, which is which I love. You know, I think um, part of this whole thing is, you know, question uh, a lot of things. Don't believe in everything you see. Um, I encourage people to question it. I, I want people to go uh, explore, you know, it, and visit and see for themselves and, and be adventurous. Oh, that gave me the chills. <laughs> when I read it, I had no idea. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, you know, people on, on my Facebook page, they've been commenting that they actually see a cluster and it's not just one kid, that they see three kids um, next to the figure. And uh, <laughs> that, of course, um, that makes me um, really scared. <laughs> and, you know, people have, these, well, have has, did the ghost followed you home? And, you know, I, I hope not. <laughs> I'd love to go back to the Stanley after, um, I mean, you know, after this photo has taken off, but, but I would have gone back anyway, whether or not this photo had, had appeared or not. Um, it is such a neat place to visit, and, and I love to visit historical sites. I encourage people, you know, go out there and explore, especially Denver. You guys are so lucky. There is so much to see around Denver, so many historical sites, so many historical buildings, and uh, yeah, I encourage people to go out and visit.